it's starting out with Wayland Recipes. Today, I'm gonna cook up a whole chicken in the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven so we can see how it does with roasting a whole chicken. And we're gonna do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna be using one of these chickens for this cook. Um, as you can see, their total weight, if you can see there, is 8.65 pounds. So each is maybe just a tad over four pounds. You're supposed to use a four pound chicken in the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer toaster oven and nothing larger. So, you know, these are close enough in my opinion and they are organic young chickens. So I'm gonna get one out of the pack and start preparing it. I will say for you who feel that these need to be washed, please see the playlist in the video description so that you are fully up to speed. I'm gonna get these together and bring you right back. All right, so here's our full chicken. Um, press side up because the legs are up. And what I'm gonna put on it is some extra virgin olive oil, some freshly cracked black pepper, some applewood smoked sea salt, and some Old Bay seasoning. All right, so we got this chicken all prepped up. I'm going to take it, put it onto the big baking pan for the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. Well, it's not big, but it's uh, the one for the oven. I know I could have like seasoned all sides and put it in a bag and shook it around or something, but uh, I'm just choosing to I'm just choosing to do a top side coat. Now I'm going to get these uh, temperature probes in. So now I'm going to turn on the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toaster Oven. I'm going to turn it to roast. And it's at 375, 45 minutes. They recommend in one of their chicken recipes, I'm only using the cooking time, I'm not using all the recipe parts that they mentioned. I do my own uh, seasonings and such. They mentioned 375 for an hour, so send it to 375 for one hour. It's gonna hit start, and it doesn't do a preheat to my surprise. I was expecting a preheat on roast, so I'm gonna open it up and just stick it on in. I'm putting it on level one. I'm gonna turn my temperature I grill two on. All right, so got it in there, and so now it's uh, basically cooking for one hour. So I'll bring you back um, in about an hour. All right, so we're about 30 minutes into this cook. The breast meat temperature is 115 degrees, that's probe one. The thigh meat temperature is at 102 degrees, that's probe two. And I'm getting a nice haze of smoke in my house at this point. Nothing that has made the smoke alarm go off or anything to that degree. However, things are, uh, you know, there is a bit of a haze of smoke in the kitchen. So, uh, you know, it's building up in smoke. Nothing, like I said, that made the smoke alarms go off. But it is interesting that things are getting smoky in here a bit. I'll bring you back in a bit. And for anyone wondering, it does not feel hotter in the kitchen. I don't feel that uh, heat is like being dissipated from the cooker or anything. I do believe it's keeping the heat in, but there is a bit of smoke that's been uh, coming through the kitchen to some degree. But like I said, I'll bring you back. Okay, so there's five minutes left in the cook and the breast temperature has reached 165. The thigh temperature is at 172 now. There hasn't been um, really much of any additional smoke as far as in the kitchen. I did have to kind of wipe around the side here. There's been like some fluid dripping from the side of the cooker. But other than that, everything's been pretty cool. But basically 55 minutes to get the breast meat to 165. Thigh meat is 173. So I'm going to let it cook that last five minutes. And then I'll bring you on back. All right, so we're coming down into the final seconds. Uh, we're in the last minute last 48 seconds and counting down. Basically, the breast meat temperature is at 170. 
thigh meat temperature is at 180 so we're pretty good and safe on the meat temperatures so I'm going to let this finish and then going to show it to you take it on out and such but I wanted you to see what the temperatures are at at the end of the cook here all right our last 10 seconds I'm just turning the eye grill off so I can get those meat probes out of the chicken and it's done so let's open up and I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, tongs here to just get it on out look at that chicken it looks nice it looks very nice so the Cuisinart Digital Air Fryer Toast Oven has cooked a chicken whoa didn't get it up did there has cooked the chicken of the size that uh, is appropriate for the cooker you're not supposed to do more than four pounds for a chicken I'm just getting these probes out all right so I just want to mention I may have cooked chickens of other sizes and other cookers and that's because those cookers make claims to be able to cook very big chickens so I cook bigger chickens in them this one you know the folks at Cuisinart they played it uh, cool they said that their cooker can do up to four pounds so I kept it at about four pounds alright now I'm just going to cover this chicken with some foil I'm going to give it about 20 minutes for those juices to just reabsorb there give it a little time to rest so I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes after it's had a little time to rest then we'll get to our cut and plate and taste testing alright so our chicken is all done and gave it some time to rest and relax and cool off a little bit so there's our finished product it's still steaming Let's go ahead. sorry about that gonna go ahead and cut into it now you can see that it's not you know overly cooked on the top and it cooked fully so a real nice cook I do find it's a real nice cook real nice uh, chicken roast here there's our chicken meat there I'm just going to cut for the taste test Let me get the camera adjusted and we'll do a taste test. Alright, so we've got our chicken here. You can have a look. So I'm just going to take a bite, skin and meat together. super tender it's super moist I wanted to make sure I chewed it all very well but uh, it's very tender very juicy and moist turned out perfectly so uh, you know I think it you know you couldn't get any better cook of a chicken than that in my opinion you know it is a shame that it only can cook a four pounder but you know the folks at Cuisinart they keep it real as far as what their cooker can do and so I hope that you did like this video, you can find this and other recipes at superwaveoverrecipes.com, on Twitter and Instagram, Wave Over Recipes. If you ever want to get directly to this YouTube channel, just go to waveoverrecipes.com. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and good eating.